What's going on people? Something like completely different from trucking or whatever, what else I record. So I moved in in my new house uh, three months ago or so. It's a really nice neighborhood, pretty nice house. Uh, I got a lake in the back right there. So I replaced one window already. <clears throat> it's, I actually should record the video on this house, how I bought the house. It was cold outside, so I even forgot this house had a deck, so it has a lake in the back. Wife likes it. So I replaced this window recently because what they end up doing, the previous owners, whatever who did it, look how they did metal, window, trash, whatever they call it, water gets in. But good thing it's overhang here. Over here it was not, and it was the same thing, and it basically brought the uh, window seal out. But then this morning I was washing my York out, AC unit. I was looking, a siding popped out up there because we had really strong winds not too long ago. And then I'm like, what the hell is this? So I went to the store, bought some metal, and then I finally climbed up here. Look how big of a gap they left. So this is supposed to go underneath uh, whatever you want to call it. No, they just left it. It blew my mind away. I never seen anything like this and like that. So I looked underneath there. The board is not right out. So I'm safe, I don't have to replace it. So now I'm gonna make a little uh, piece of trim like this, shove it underneath and go to overlap and it's good. That is crazy. That is absolutely insane. So you understand this is a north side too. I'm glad I caught it because if the rain and water would got in there in a couple years, I would rot this board out, rot it out, everything in the bottom. But <clears throat> yeah, expensive ass house, but you still have uh, F-ops like this and the nails were sticking out because they didn't put enough. So there's one nail over there and one nail over here. That's it. So if you hire a contractor, I suppose, let's put it this way, you get what you pay for. Same thing with the mechanics. If you hire a contractor, or whatever who you hire to do something, the cheapest labor, that's what you get for. I guarantee you that's what happened with these people. They hired the, the most cheapest guy, and that's how he ended up doing it. Same thing with the mechanics. If you hire the cheapest mechanic, cheapest labor, most likely you're gonna have to redo it. And I just, Prove it to myself. Thanks for watching.